Hi everyone. This is my backyard. You can see there's a lot of tall trees surrounded. So I don't get full sun. When you're doing gardening in the shady backyard, the, the one of the most important question you ask is which spot I should plant my plant. How many di hours or directly light, direct sunlight each spot can get? And I have been facing this question for many years. And finally I got the way to determine it. And now I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you look at the ground, the, the sunlight comes and goes. And unless you sit there all day to recording how many hours the sun's moving in and how many hours the shade moving in, it's hard to dis determine exactly how many hours each spot, how many hours of direct sunlight each spot can get. And, um, but if you look at the sky, you can see that all the trees, the position of the trees are consistent. And the, the orbit of the sun going through the sky is also relatively constant. So I told myself, maybe I can take a picture of the sky and then draw the orbit of the sun on that picture. Maybe I can figure out how many hours the sun is showing in this clear sky and how many hours the sun is hiding behind the trees. So this is what I did. I took a picture of the sky from east to coast, east to west, with the hand arm straight out, like this, like a click. 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 And click. It's only three or four pictures, you can cover the whole sky. And all the pictures, each picture are little overlap each other so you can connect them later on. Um, you can either use some computer software to overlap the pictures or you can use some old fashioned way like me to just print the picture out. And I have here some examples. I can show you. So this is pictures I took and I printed out. You don't need any fancy color printer, it's just black and white. Printer is good enough. And you cut the right edge of the picture and then you overlap them. Like this first one. And this is the second one. You look the picture, you look to see that formation and that formation are exactly the same, so you just overlap them. And also, this is the second one. You can see the formation here and the formation here are the same. So you overlap them. Oh, it's so windy today. And also the third one, you can see the greenhouse. You can just overlap them like that and you put the tape on each picture there, tape them together and you can you have a map. So I call it a sky map. On this map, once you have this map, you can just go out to the This map, you can come out to your backyard, standing in exactly the same spot, and recording where the sun location is. So when you do the recording, remember to wear sunglasses. You don't want to look the sun directly. So like here at the market, like eight o'clock. Look here. Oh, ten o'clock here. Eleven o'clock here. And then one o'clock here and two o'clock here and 
so on and so forth. And then you get the sky map. And you can see that um, from 10 o'clock to almost 1 o'clock, it's all in shady area. And from 1 to almost 3, the sun is in the, in the op wide open. So you get full sunlight from here to here. And after 3.30, and you get into shade again. And then by the evening, you get some light here. So this spot probably get them um, three, four hours of full sun. And I have some examples here too, I can show you. So this one is one spot on my, my, um, my backyard. You can see that from 8 o'clock You can see from 8 o'clock to, to about 10 o'clock I have about 2 hours sun here and from 1 o'clock to 4 o'clock I have 3 hours sun here and then it's all shade so this spot get like four or five hours of direct sun. And in the other spot in my backyard, you can see that eight o'clock here has some sun there. But from 9.30 to almost one o'clock, the sun is just hovering above the tree to uh, the top of the tree line. So you can get the full sun from 9 to 1 and then it's like a 30 minutes of shade and then it's full sun again and another 30 minutes shade and the full sun again so from this you can tell easily how many hours of full sun you can get from each eight, any given spot and you can use this map for a whole year too because the, the sun position in the sky is very from, from um, spring to uh, from year to, from different time of the year like in winter time uh, the, the sun will be lower in, in lower horizon now the springtime is this location maybe summer will be even higher you can get more full sun so use the same sky map in, and the map mark the sun location in different um, time you can get the full picture of each particular spot how many hours of direct sunlight you can get from winter spring summer or fall I see this as the easiest way to get the general idea of exactly how many hours full sun each spot in the shady backyard can get so from there then you can de determine what to plant to each spot um, I think it's a very um, practical way and a low low tech way too no fancy equipment to to use so the, I use this way to determine several spots in my backyard and it's very helpful to me uh, I'm just going to show everyone how to do it and um, now you'll get it now you can map your backyard by how many hours direct sunlight they can get and uh, that's it if you like this message if you like this method and leave me a comment and see how it works for you. Alright, thank you. Bye.